yo, yo, your boy Sammy Love here. Mr. The Mr. Artist just contacted me. Mr. Dirt said, uh, needed some mangoes. Fixing to get picked them up right quick. Uh, how, how he loves them mangoes. Mangoes and females. Loves them things to death. But, uh, some of you are probably wondering about the, what happened in the match last week. <laughs> Guys. You think we did the wrong thing, but we didn't. It really wasn't bad. He needed to be home with his family through this horrible, horrible time that they're going through. For starters, let's just get this. Me and the artists feel way worse than any of you guys feel. We feel just as bad as his family and others do. So why do you think we would do such a a bad thing and remind me mangoes mangoes anyway that's not the point we'll get to the mangoes in a minute so the artist decided that the only way he knew for him to be out the picture mr. Brad was to take him out of self so we did what was best for business we always do the right thing the artist will never do something wrong because that's just not his nature and it never will be his nature. I've worked with him for several months. And as of my several months I've been working for the artist, he has always did everything to help others. Even myself. He's always, even though he's a little mean to me from time to time, but he always looks out for me. Okay? So that's what he did to his fellow brother. He looked out for him. You guys see it as a big you you guys misunderstood it completely incorrect so that being said you guys need to get off our backs and mr. artist leave mr. artist alone he's very busy right now I think he's I think he just got out of band practice oh man I, shoot I'm late gosh I'm late I should have been there five minutes ago <laughs> appropriate song for you to make your way down to the ring last night, Bradley. There has always been a line in that song that has really reminded me of you. There goes my hero. He's ordinary. And Brad, that's what I've always saw in you. I always saw that you were just an ordinary guy. You're like everyone else. You have a family which you work and you provide for. You have strong beliefs when it comes down to it. And I love you, man. I respect the hell out of that. And all day long, my assistant Samuel has been swamped by emails and text messages and tweets. Snapchats, everything. Everyone's calling me a coward, saying I hit Brad from behind, saying I turned my back on him when he was at his lowest. But is that really what I did? You know, I've also heard that we saw this coming. Didn't you ever get tired of it, Dirk? Didn't you ever get tired of people comparing you to and saying that Brad was just a little bit better? No. no, because not once was that ever the case. See, where he was always stronger physically, I was always stronger mentally, which made us a very good team. Very good friends, because that's been a thing that's been going since maybe like sixth grade. So why did I break his face? Well comes down to this. I know Brad's in a hard time. I know what his family's going through and 
They need him. You know, I could talk about 10 years ago when our children who were older now were much younger and we were never around. We were, we were never around for them. We were chasing this dream and we put our personal lives on hold to go out and entertain the fans because we thought that's what we were meant to do in life. Well, things change, kids get older and life moves on and we're back and we're going hard and we're creating. And then everything happens. Everyone knows about Bella by now. Poor sweet little thing. And Brad's needed elsewhere. And I see that. I know he wants to get out there and earn the money because he needs the money. Let's be honest. He needs the money. But he's got to find another way. The road's not for him anymore. So I did the best thing. Sit him home and take care of his family. So on that note, I gotta go. If you like more, subscribe to our channel. Thanks.